welcome along to the latest installment of my camper conversion YouTube video channel. This video is going to be building the bed for this Daihatsu Hijet little micro camper conversion. I've just done a very, very basic layout of uh, where the frame's going to be going. The bed's going to be going down the left with a section behind the, bed, uh, the front seats that will be removable just to gain access for the engine cover. The left hand side there is going to be a kitchen area. I've just basically made a very very rough quick frame just to make sure there's actually going to be enough room to get in walk around enough access from the side just things like that it's always best to have a, a very quick play around with a plan before just cracking on and then discovering that you're building something that might not be suitable for the van so this looks relatively okay the bed's going to be coming out 50 centimeters from the side wall then there's going to be another pull out section going up to where the kitchen units uh, coming out that's coming out for around about 35 I might budget an extra couple up to about 40 centimeters 35 40 coming from that side and that'll give roughly around about the 35 to 40 pull out section and walkway the bed's going to be covering the entire right hand side so the sliding door on that side is pretty much only going to be available for getting anything in and out of underneath the bed the main access is going to be on the left hand side and again I'm going to be having another section as I say here that's going to be removable that's 40 centimeters from the back and if the engine cover need, ever needs to be accessed it'll just be a case of pulling it up taking that section straight out and then the seats will be able to flip back again so effectively this area here will be the side access walkway going in there and along back down there it should be enough though, should be plenty plenty room just to be able to get in, squeeze around, get sat down and start cooking or making bed or whatever, so there's the plan. Now it's time to just start knocking it all together and see what the final product's going to be. <sighs> just on the bed build, I just realised the camera had fell over so I'm just picking it back up there. Uh, I'm not sure where it actually fell so this is the progress so far just been strengthening in the buttons on the side and just creating the general basic frame around at the moment so I'm going to continue getting a few more bits cut down and get all this uh, whacked together and we'll have a look and see what it looks like when it's all done Right, so there's the basic length frame pretty much all done. I've still got to do the side bit that's going to go along there, but it's just again, same rinse repeat, just chopping little, little bits here and there, fettles here and there if you need to. But it's a very, very basic frame as you can see, just a big sheath for strength and support for skew, uh, securing to. That's secured to all the way through the ply floor. These little brackets, I'm actually going to change these over. These are just the only ones I've got to hand at the moment, but I'll nip down the uh, shop tomorrow, I'll get some more beefy uh, brackets but I mean looking at this, when I'm shaking it the actual van's shaking rather than the actual bed moving so that's not going anywhere, that's already secure as it is so it's coming along nicely as I say, I mean look at that that's not going anywhere so it's a good build so far I've just got to crack on, do that side bit and then get the top bit all sorted
Right, so there we go, there's the basic frame just of the bed built. The main section is really secure, as I say, just trying to shake that, and as you can see, it's actually shaking the whole van and the doors rather than moving the bed, the bed, so that's not going anywhere, that. As I say, it's shaking the van rather than moving any of the wood. So that's nice, solid, secure in place. The section here, it's all supported and braced because this section is actually removable, it's not secured down at the moment. I might at most just put one or two screws through into the floor just to secure it, but again I might just leave it floating. It's literally that light, it just comes straight out. And then because it comes straight out it then means that the seats can then flip back. I've tested the driver's seat, flipping that back with the main bed frame in place and it still allows access into the engine bay underneath. So there's no worries or issues with access for the engine bay. So there's, as I say, it's just a case of now putting that back in, getting some ply for the top. I'm probably gonna try and do a flip opening and a pull out section as well. But again, as I say, that's just the, the basic frame all built. That just pops straight back in. And as I say, that's where the bed's gonna come out too. And then that's gonna be your access through on the sliding door. So it's coming together quite nicely. Now it's just a case of, as I say, getting some piano hinges out, getting some ply and trying to fabricate a nice top for it. So there's the flip down panels for the bottom of the bed, all carpeted up. That should smarten up the look of them a lot more than just basic ply. I've gone for a slightly darker carpet just to break up the interior as well. That uh, This colour carpet should pretty much match the seat colour. So I'd say it just breaks up rather than just all fully the same colour of the same grey. So I'll get these back on the brackets, get those fitted in and uh, see what the bed looks like then. Right, so there we go, there is my sofa bed build fully complete now. 
I've carpeted all of the frame, the, well, all the visible parts of the frame anyway. I haven't gone in and carpeted all the stuff that's going to be making up the internal part of the frame because it's just not on display, so it would have been a waste of carpet, really. But I've cut down a couple of old caravan cushions to measure. I've made one into an L shape that goes along there. That one's been just cut down width-wise because that came out a little further out to about there. But there we go, that's uh, quite a nice looking L-shaped uh, sofa. I've had five people sat on there and it was all sat in comfort really, it was no problems, no issues. Could have probably even squeezed a sixth person in but it's getting a little bit tight then. But you can easily, easily fit five people going all the way along, as I say, the l shape of the sofa there. And to make it into a bed, now I've got the kitchen unit in place, I've got a supporting uh, like shelf sort of there. Uh, bar going along there, that's where the ply sits on top of the bed, so I'll make the bed up in a second just to show you how quickly and easily it makes into the bed and also how big it is as well. Now friends haven't believed me when I've said that I can actually lie down completely in this when it's made into a bed. I'm six foot three and it's made well to fit me basically, although this van has been a project to sell. I'm, I'll always make any vans suitable for myself because if they can fit me, then they should pretty much fit anyone, really. So I say, I'm 6'3, I'll make the bed up and I'll show you how much wiggle room I've got as well. So that's not an issue. So I'll just put the camera down, I'll show you how quickly it is just to make it into the bed. And you're talking under a minute, if that. So I'll put the camera down, make the bed up, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. But as you can see, sofa bed wise, on the sofa position, it's just really nice, really comfy. As I say, I'm just sat here, plenty of leg room. And as I say, there's just no issues at all. Now, I'm 6'3", and although my head is, well, brushing the headliner, it's still comfortable, I'm, I'm still sat, I could still quite easily sit here for a good amount of time, really. So, as I say, it's a, quite a nice, comfy, cosy little sofa bed that I've made here. So, as I say, that's the sofa position. Really nice, really comfy. Plenty of room, plenty of room to get in and cook and do any washing up and this and the other as well. And now I'll just put the camera down, I'll show you the bed. So there we go, and there is the sofa bed in the bed position, and as you saw that was less than 60 seconds to turn it from the sofa bed into quite a nice, I'd say probably three quarter double bed. But just to prove a point, I'll get in and I'll show you what it's like when I'm in it, and I'll say I'm 6'3", so I'll shut the boot. I'll take my shoes off obviously. Get in the bed. And as you can see, I am fully lied down here, fully flat, no issues at all whatsoever, with plenty of wiggle room at the end there as well, and I'm sure all I would have to do if I wanted even more room is just slide the driver's seat forward, it's not even at its furthest forward angle at the moment, so if I needed any more room or if you're trying to sleep anybody who's 6'5", 6'6", even bigger, then, as I say, that's all you need to do, just slide the driver's seat that little bit further forward. But as you can see, I'm 6'3", and I can't lie <coughs> any flatter than what I am at the moment, with plenty of wiggle room at the end as well. So there's absolutely no issues. And if I squidge just over to the side, you can see I'm only taking half the bed, so there's still going to be plenty of room for somebody else as well, if it was going to be a two-person camper. Plenty of room to be able to squeeze in a second person with no issues at all whatsoever. And because I've made just like the seating area that goes all the way along, when you're getting up in the morning, at least there's a little bit of area where you can actually just sit, put your feet down, get into the sink, get into the hob, and you're still not having to put the full bed away just to be able to get into uh, like the kitchen area. I've also done it so all of the cupboards are accessible, even when the bed's open. So as you see, that will be access for water storage, kick, uh, kitchen utensils, things like that. 
and that can all still be accessed whether the bed is in its bed position or in its sofa position. Also goes for the gas bottle as well but obviously the tailgate needs to be open for the gas lock aside. But there you go, that's how I've made my nice, really comfy L-shaped sofa bed in my little Daihatsu Hijet. The amount of storage it's got underneath as well is absolutely ridiculous. I'll just put it back into the sofa position, just again to show you how quickly it converts. See, it's just that quick and easy. It took me 22 seconds there, and that was converting the full bed back into the sofa bed position. And as you can see, that's now ready to accommodate another five people to sit in, have brews, have cuppers, bacon butties, whatever you want. Now, underneath the bed, I've put it on all piano hinges that just fold straight down. I've put battery access flap under that side so you can get in and get into the battery access. The flap's off there just because I've been charging the battery because it's been stood for the last month. But obviously once that flaps back on top of there, you've got all of that storage access underneath the bed. I've also created an access panel, just a little bit of ply there that just pulls out from the sliding door on that side. But that door is pretty much blocked in because, uh, by all the beds. So it's only ever going to be used if you needed to get something quick out the back of the actual bed itself. Now both of the front panels flip down. I've also done a flip down panel on the pull out section as well. Just for quick and easy storage under there. And say if you ever needed access to the engine cover or the gearbox cover, this entire section here just lifts straight out again in seconds. You just need to move the cushions and then if you needed any access into there for whatever reason it just lifts straight out like that super quick super easy no hassle no messing about no having to unscrew unbolt anything like that this frame itself is absolutely solid that just rocks the bed uh, rocks the van when I'm trying to move that so that's fully secure but this section just lifts straight in and straight out just like that and then that gives you nice easy access for getting into the uh, engine bay and things like that and again just seconds and straight back into the sofa bed position so there we go that's everything back together as the sofa bed again as well so as I say that's how I've made my full L-shaped sofa bed with removable section for service cover access, engine cover access, things like that. Turns into a lovely little double bed, as I say it's pretty good two meters long, possibly even a little bit longer, all you need to do is move that driver's seat forward with a little bit more and it gives you plenty more inches worth of uh, sleeping room as well. So I hope you did find this video useful, if you did please do give it that old thumbs up and uh, do check my channel, there's loads of videos on there covering the conversion of this Daihatsu Hijet from Panavan to Campervan, as well as a VW T4 that I've already converted from Panavan to Campervan. And then soon there's also going to be this little Ford Connect, and that's going to be my next project once this one's all done. So, as I say, if you did find the video useful, give it a big old thumbs up, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, have a look at my channel for more useful videos, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.